everybody! Hello boys and girls! Hello! And welcome to Christine's Crafts and Stories and thank you so much for joining me again today. If this is your first time with us then welcome to my channel. My name's Christine and I'm so glad that you could be here. Thanks guys! Well, how is everybody? Are we all okay? Fantastic! Haven't we had some beautiful weather again? Oh, we are very lucky here in the UK with our weather at the moment. And of course, we've had VE Day and Bank Holiday. I hope some of you have been celebrating in style at home and enjoying yourselves. I know that some of you have been out in the garden in your paddling pool. That looks super fun. I wish I had one. Oh, do you know, I love the seaside. I love the sea. Who else loves the sea? Oh, you know, I live by the sea at home and I love lots of things about it. I love the sound of the seagulls flying in the sky and I don't much like seagulls themselves because they steal your chips and they poo everywhere but when I hear a seagull it reminds me of home so that's nice. I also like the smell of the sea that salt in the water. I love that beachy smell and I like when the waves crash on to the sea wall and then they crawl back along the beach. Oh, it's beautiful to watch and to hear and I really like to build sand castles as well. If you like the beach then tell me what your favourite things are about the beach. Okay? But why am I talking about the seaside? Hmm. I know it's because today's story is all about the seaside and a little boy who lives by the sea and a very exciting adventure he had one day. But does anybody know what the name of today's story is? I can tell you, it's The Storm Whale, that's right, by Benji Davies, published by Simon and Schuster. Oh, those guys are incredible. They represent some amazing books, many of which I would like to show to you in the future, fingers crossed. So if you enjoy today's video, I have put some links down below and at the end of the video so you can check out the Simon and Schuster website there's lots of books on there including this one which I have put a link to and you can even get this book with a cute cuddly toy whale <laughs> very cool I've also put in the links a link to Waterstones and a place where you can get this book too. Waterstones is one of my favourite places in the world. I could spend hours in there and I cannot wait till I can go back and sit and read in Waterstones. So have a look at those links guys if you enjoy the story today. Well, boys and girls, shall we get started? Yeah! Fantastic! Okay then, you know what to do. Grab those brand blankets and your favourite cuddly toy and let's begin because oh, it's almost time for bed. Noi lived with his dad and six cats by the sea. Six cats? Oh wow, that is a lot of cats, isn't it, girls and boys? Do you like cats? Maybe some of you have a pet cat at home. If you do, can you tell me their names? Fantastic. So, every day, 
Louis' dad left early for a long days of work on his fishing boat. He wouldn't be home again until very late when it was dark. Do you like the look of Noy's house? I think it looks very nice and he has lots of cats around. Can you tell me how many cats you can see? There are some in the hall and some in the kitchen. And look, there is Dad. He's going off to work on his fishing boat for a long day. One night, a great storm had raged around their house. <sighs> Shall we create the storm, boys and girls? Everyone, take out your hand like this and two fingers, and I want you to tap on your hand like this. This is the rain. So tap your hands, tap your hands, and get even faster and louder. And you can move it to your legs, move it to your legs. And I want sound of the wind. And maybe a crash of thunder. Another one. And slowly the rain gets lighter and begins to stop. And it was calm after the storm. Well done, girls and boys, you did great. Well, the next morning, Noi went to the beach to see what had been left behind. As he walked along the shore, he spotted something in the distance. Oh, I wonder what he can see. Now, I can see a lighthouse in the distance that helps the fishermen in their boats from stopping hitting the rocks. But I don't think that is what Noi can see. Wait, what's that? There's something on the beach. Oh, I wonder what it is, girls and boys. As he got closer, Noi couldn't believe his eyes. It was a little whale washed up on the sand. Can you see him? What is he doing on the sand? He should be in the sea, girls and boys. I hope the whale is okay. Dear. Noi wondered what he should do. He knew that it wasn't good for a whale to be out of the water. Oh, look, he's helping the whale, isn't he? He's got a bucket full of water and he's splashed it over the whale so that he doesn't become too dry. That's a kind thing to do, isn't it? I must be quick, he thought. Oh, look, now Noi is pulling the whale along in his cart. Ah, oh, very clever indeed. But I wonder where he is taking him. Hmm. Can you see any other creatures on the beach? Tell me. Noi did everything he could to make the whale feel at home. In the bath, can you see? He's put the whale in the bath and filled it with water so that it feels like the whale is at home in the sea. It's a very kind thing to do, isn't it? Now, how many cats can you see in the bathroom? Can you tell me? Brilliant. Noi told stories about life on the island. The whale was an excellent listener. If you found a whale, what would you do? And what story would you read to it? Do you have a favourite story that you would read? Ooh. Well, the night was drawing in and it was going dark. 
Noi was worried what his dad would say and if he would be angry about having a whale in the bath. I think I would be a bit worried too, wouldn't you girls and boys? Ugh. I hope Noi's dad isn't angry. Noi was only trying to help, wasn't he? Somehow, Noi kept his secret safe all evening. Phew, that's lucky. He even managed to sneak some supper for his whale. Ooh, I wonder what the supper is. Looks like fish. <laughs> and I think that he's being very brave, isn't he? And he is taking a bit of a risk though, keeping this secret from his dad. Ugh. But he knew it wouldn't last. Oh no, look. Oh, Noi's dad has walked into the bathroom to find Noi feeding the whale some food. Oh, oops. What is he going to do now? His dad knows what he has been hiding. Uh oh. Noi's dad wasn't angry. He'd been so busy that he hadn't noticed that Noi was lonely. Well, that's good, isn't it, girls and boys? Noi's dad isn't angry, and he understands that Noi just wanted a little friend. But he said that they must take the whale back to the sea where it belonged. I'm sure Noi will be very sad to see his friend go. But his dad is right. Whales belong in the sea, don't they? And it's not safe for them out of the water. Can you see them in their boat? Yeah. And they've got their big raincoats on because it looks like it's going to be another very stormy night. Noi knew that it was the right thing to do, but it was hard to say goodbye. He was glad that his dad was with him. Oh, Noi is being very strong, isn't he, girls and boys? I'm so glad that he's got company. Can you see him and his dad? They're sat in their boat and they're watching the whale swim through the water off to the distance. The whale will be safe now and he'll be back with his friends. Noi often thought of the storm whale. <gasps> Look! Wow! Noi is painting pictures of the whale. He sat in his kitchen at his table. Looks like a good picture indeed. And if you have a close look around the kitchen, you might see some other pictures of whales. I think our friend is missing that whale, isn't he? Also, can you see any more cats? Let me know how many you see. <clears throat> well, Noi hoped that one day soon, And where do you think the two of them are going? It looks like they have a blanket and a picnic basket with lots of food. Mm. Noi hoped he would see his friends again. Of course, that's it. Noi wants to see the whale again. But wait, what can you see in the distance? Not one, but two whales! Oh, it looks like Noi's friend has found a little whale friend to play with. Oh, fantastic! And Noi's dad took him for a walk to the top of a sand dune to enjoy a picnic and to see the whale. Oh, what a wonderful idea and a 
perfect way to end today's story. Oh wow, what a lovely story that was. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Who did we meet in today's story then? Can you remember? And what was your favourite part? Can you tell me? Fantastic. So, Noi was very lonely and his dad was always at work, wasn't he? And then a great big storm came rumbling and Noi found a friend. Brilliant. And he looked after him kept him safe, gave him lots of water too and luckily his dad wasn't angry but he did tell him that Noi must take his whale back to the sea where he'd be safe. Oh, I loved that one. My favourite part of the story was the picnic with Noi and his dad and them watching the whales swimming happily in the sea. So who did we see in today's story? Hmm. Of course we saw Noi, a little lonely boy who found a friend in the whale. And of course we saw our beautiful storm whale who wasn't safe at first but Noi looked after him and let him go back into the sea to be with his friends. And of course Noi's dad who helped Noi and the whale. What a wonderful story. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it girls and boys but it's time for me to go. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget these videos all go up onto YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube and you enjoyed this story, give us a big thumbs up. And if you really loved it, click subscribe. And of course, you can always give the bell a little ring-a-ding-ding -ding to get those notifications. Thank you so much everybody, I will see you all very soon. Goodbye everybody, goodbye, thank you, bye!